So this is the all new RetroStation PC, a Windows 10 mini PC that's been completely customized and modified into an entire retro gaming station. And I'm talking over 50,000 games across all of your favorite systems, your Nintendos, Super Nintendos, Nintendo Wii, Game Gear, Game Boy, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, everything's already installed and configured. So you can just take this home, plug it in, and everything is ready for you to play. Now, spec-wise, we're talking a 2.7 gigahertz Celeron CPU, 8 gigs of DDR4, 128 gig SSD, and that two terabyte monster hard drive, which has all of those games installed, ready to go. We have Bluetooth, five gigahertz Wi-Fi, gigabit ethernet, USB 3, HDMI, Windows 10 Professional, and it supports a 4K output. Let's open that up. In fact, so this is everything you get inside the box, starting with these two wireless controllers. Feel okay in the hand, but of course, once we get to the gameplay, I'll let you know exactly how they are. So you get two of these. You also get this uh, 2.4 gigahertz mini keyboard. So I'm guessing this is for when you're inside Windows 10 and you want to use a keyboard. Now we get the power brick, we get HDMI lead, and this is the mini PC. And I have to say guys, it feels really uh, well built in the hand. So on the side here, you've got a VGA out. So if you do want to plug into a slightly older monitor for that true retro 4x3 experience, you can do that. On the back here, we've got the gigabit ethernet. We have dual HDMI out. We have a USB port here, power input. On this side, we have a further three USB ports, and we can see two of them have been occupied by the two wireless controllers. And here we have a memory card slot. This is the power button. And under that, we have these vents here, and we can see this is actually wall mountable. So that's everything inside the box. Let's now plug that in and let's see exactly what the Retro Station PC looks like. And here we are in the home screen of the Retro Station. Now, when you first turn on this mini PC, it does actually prompt you asking, do you want to boot into the Retro Station or do you want to boot into Windows 10? So you do have that flexibility if you want to run your Windows 10 applications or maybe some Windows 10 games, basic games. So you do have that freedom. But as we're interested in the Retro portion, let me show you exactly what you get with the retro station. Now, if I go over to all games, here we can see a total of just over 5,300 games are included in this. Now, in terms of systems, as you can see, guys, there's a lot in here. And uh, I probably can't really go over all of them, but just some of the highlights that um, I want to show you. So you've got the Jaguar, you've got Wonderswan. Uh, you can see some of the ones you recognize here. You've got MSX. You've even got some Windows games on here, a total of seven, which are emulated through Wine, which is a, a Linux emulator allowing you to run Windows games. Uh, you've got all the NECs, TurboGrafx, then you've got all of the NES, uh, Super NES, uh, N64. Now, for example, we can see N64, they've got over 200 games. Nintendo GameCube, they've got over 500 games. So I definitely will be trying out some of those because those will require a bit more power than your older 8 and 16-bit consoles. Now you also have NDS, Nintendo DS, with over 1400 games. So that really is a massive library built in. And we even have Nintendo Wii with a total of 25 games pre-installed. You got some ports, you got Thomas Wave, all, all the Segas. Here you got Sega Saturn with over 300 games. You got Dreamcast with over 200 games. All the Spectrums, all the Neo Geos. Now you got PS1, 400 games. PS2, guys. So again, I definitely will be trying that out. 74 games. And you got over 789 games for the PSP. And then we're back to the all games. Now, obviously, I can't demonstrate every game and every system, but just to give you guys a quick overview of what the system can do, I will play some of the more difficult games or the difficult systems. Now, the back and forth of this is actually running Bato Sierra. Let's start with some N64. Now, a great thing you can see straight away is not only do we get a massive library of games, we also get to see a preview video about what the game is. We get to see some information about the game here and even a rating. So and that's one of the benefits of buying these pre-configured systems is you don't need to mess about with any of these emulators or settings or find ROMs or get this working, get the artwork working, literally just power it on and you can now enjoy all of these games straight away. Let's start with this racing game. 
Now, the great thing you can see with these systems is that they've already got the bezels pre-configured because as you guys know with these older systems they were designed for a 4 by 3 aspect ratio TV but if you try and play on a widescreen you normally have these black bars but with the bezels they've added here it just looks so much nicer USA Racing uh, can I change the view? okay yeah nice crash there and in the interest of time I'm going to play these games for about 30 seconds to a minute just to just so I can show you as much as possible and not make the video too long for you but that's working absolutely fine and if you want to quit you can press start and select together and I'll take you back to retro station and where we can then pick another game let's back out there all right let's start with some GameCube okay here's some uh, Mario football all right, can I pass to that guy? Take that! That's how you score. Great goal. Yes! Great, okay. Let's get out of that. All right, so Nintendo Wii emulation, which I think is actually a first for my channel. All right, so jump's working okay. That one is run. That's playing mega smoothly. Looks really nice. Uh, can I pick this up? Yes, I can. Yeah. Take that. That's working great. All right, we've got some Mario Kart here on the Wii. I mean, who doesn't like Mario Kart? It really is a great game, especially when you play with your friends. All right, let's drop that. There you go. Okay, TD UK is number one. Let's get a boost here. Brad's playing really nicely. Just as he says that. <laughs> All right, here's some PS2 emulation. Can I get my super move out? Take that, take that. I mean, that looks really nice. I mean, to be fair, you can see they've only put on a, a few PS2 games and probably the ones which are quite easy to emulate. Uh, but this one's playing really nicely. All right, let's see if I can get the kill. Take that. There you go. So yeah, so PlayStation 2 emulation, a bit hit and miss. Um, most of the games, the basic ones, they should be okay, but but the harder ones to emulate, the full-on 3D graphics one, they will struggle on this system. Let's back out of that. Here we have some good old Star Wars, again on the GameCube. I mean, how nice does that look? All right, let's take out these towers. You do hear some uh, audio stuttering occasionally, and occasionally there are some pauses as well. <laughs> but it just looks so nice. All right, let's take out this tower. There you go. So pauses like that, so yeah, it is a bit stuttery, um, but it doesn't actually ruin the enjoyment of the game. Okay, there you go, send a missile. Now, although I'm playing lots of GameCube games, the main reason for that is I just want to show you guys that the system can handle most of these games uh, without issue. And if it can play GameCube games, then it's not really going to have an issue playing your old, you know, Super Nintendos, your Mega Drives, your Game Boy Advances, your PS1s even. And it's playing most of these games really nicely. You do occasionally get the odd pause here or there, but on the whole, you can see... Uh, it's performing great and this is a really great game here we have some donkey kong country on the nintendo wii it looks really nice i can't get to the top there yes i can 
Where's my mate Diddy Kong? And that's actually emulating really nicely. So sound is perfect. Uh, no stuttering on this one. And the graphics look uh, amazing. Well, I mean amazing compared to the old <laughs> 8 and 16-bit systems. So wrapping this up, guys, I would say overall, I'm extremely impressed with this mini PC. I mean, starting with the positives, uh, the fact that we have over 53,000 games pre-installed, pre-configured, with all of those emulators already on there. Literally just get the system home, turn it on, and you can literally start enjoying all of these games straight away. On top of that, I was very surprised with how good consoles like the Nintendo Wii, also the Nintendo DS, uh, the PSP performed. Uh, I mean, the fact that they, and also of course the GameCube. I mean, some games on the GameCube were stuttering a bit, but overall, it definitely was playable. So the fact that you can emulate systems like that, you're gonna have no issues emulating things like PS1, your Super Nintendos, Mega CDs, Game Boy Advances, Dreamcast, all of those would emulate without any issues whatsoever. Uh, on the negatives, I'd say, um, yeah, the PS2 emulation on this wasn't great. So I would not recommend this box if all you're looking to do is PS2 emulation. And the other one is the fact that some of the games are configured in a French language or they have the French language set. So you may have to go through the settings to adjust that. But also the fact that we have built in Windows 10. So it's not all about retro or playing old games. If you want to, you can boot into Windows 10 and you now have a fully working desktop operating system where you can do your, your office work, your internet browsing, your social media, and even install some you know, basic or light games to enjoy. So, but overall guys, I definitely am impressed with this box and I'm so impressed. I'm actually going to plug this in downstairs with my main TV so I can play the rest of these games with my friends and family. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you do want to check out this box, I will leave all of the links in the video description and also the pinned comment. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this system and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.